Valentine's Day is literally right around the corner, so we are doing a Valentine's Day gift guide. Hi guys, my name is Celesta. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So we figured we'd separate everything out into different categories. I have everything on my iPad, so let's just jump right into it. Of course, given that we love all things handbags, we are starting out with a handbag. So first, if they have been dropping hints on a certain type of bag, a certain bag in general, go with that bag. Don't listen to this list. If they have already have their mind set on something, go with that. However, if they don't have anything that they're super set on or they're kind of open to different suggestions, these are some of my favorites. Starting off with a Longchamp Le Pliage, I have one of these in pretty much every size. I absolutely love it. I love how carefree it is. I love that you can fold it up very small and it's very practical and something you can use for school, for work, um, running errands, diaper bag, whatever you need. Um, it's the perfect bag. Kind of on the same page, the Marc Jacobs tote bag as well. I feel like if you are in school or working or just like need a traveling bag, I think that's a great bag because it does come with a zipper. There aren't too many totes that do come with zippers and I think that is a great option. Sticking with Marc Jacobs, there's also the snapshot bag, which I absolutely love as well. This is the perfect bag if they're always on the go, if they're running errands. Um, and something that's really nice about this bag, I feel like is you can switch the strap out and then you can do like a more evening or dressy look with the same bag as well. So it has a lot of uses to it. Um, and it is in general, very versatile. Next, one of my very, very favorites, you guys know this, this shouldn't be a surprise to you, but I absolutely love my Palette Numero Dis. This bag comes in so many different colors. The quality is amazing. You get to wear it as a shoulder bag. You get to wear it as a crossbody, as a bum bag. There's so many different ways to wear this. The only thing is that the bag doesn't fit as much as you think it would, but it definitely still fits all of the essentials. Like I really don't carry around that much. I, Palen is absolutely amazing. I do have to recommend though, because they are shipping overseas, they're shipping from Spain directly. Um, you do want to order sooner rather than later, just to make sure that everything comes on time. Now kind of moving up into higher price ranges you know i'm not sure exactly what your budget is but um the next bag on my list is probably the Louis Vuitton Easy Pouch on Strap. I think this is a newer bag from Louis Vuitton, but I absolutely love it. I may be getting it, I'm not sure yet, but um, I think it is absolutely stunning. It's another very versatile and carefree bag, especially if you get in black. It's something that you can use for daytime, something you can use for evenings. There's so many different ways to wear the bag. I think for $1,500, it's definitely well worth your money. Next, sticking with Louis Vuitton, another favorite is my Palm Springs Mini. Um, Again, it's a very carefree style. I use this all the time. It is more of a day bag. So if they are someone who like mainly uses their bags out in the, during the day or they need kind of like an everyday bag, I think that's the way to go. If they are looking for more like evening bag, then I do have to recommend the YSL Toy Lulu or the Mini Lu. Um, I think given that it's just over the thousand dollar price range, it comes in so many different colors. It's an all leather bag, just over a thousand dollars with YSL. I feel like you can't beat it. And then of course, given that with like luxury brands in general, you do get the very nice like packaging. So if you're not very good at like wrapping gifts or things like that, um, I think that's also a great route to go. And lastly, if you just like have an infinite budget, you know, um, I highly, highly recommend getting a Chanel mini. I know these are very hard to come by these days. However, if you're to own one Chanel bag, that's going to continue being a classic, but not break the bank. Um, I feel like classic flaps in general, not worth almost $10,000 at this point. However, the mini is definitely worth it. If it's a lot, I think it has pretty much the same capacity as the small classic flap um, for pretty much half the price. So I really think that you can't go wrong with the mini and um, I definitely love mine, which is why I recommend it. Moving on to jewelry. Again, it's kind of the same thing with the handbags. If they already have something in mind and they've been dropping hints, whether it's, hey, I want this exact item or they're like, hey, I think I want like a pair of earrings, or I think I want this bracelet. What do you think? Like, and they're dropping hints, please, please note that. Um, but if they aren't really sure exactly what they want, here are a few of my favorites. Starting off with Tiffany's. Um, Tiffany's, I absolutely love. I feel like because they have such a wide 
variety of different styles and a pretty big price point in general um so you can get something for just over a hundred dollars you can get something for you know six thousand dollars so there's quite there's there's different styles for everyone within every budget the two styles that are my absolute favorite are the t line and the atlas line um uh the necklace that i'm wearing now is the atlas necklace and then the ring that i'm wearing is the t line um i think that these are such signature lines for tiffany's um they also recently released the knot collection as well which i also really like um, so it kind of depends on what they like in their styles and maybe if they've been dropping hints, but um, those are some of my favorites. Moving on to Cartier, I think that you cannot go wrong with the Justin Clue or the Love line um, in general, whether it be like the rings or the bracelets or the necklaces. I think that um, kind of depending on what they like as well you can i think those are definitely a classic for cartier van cleef as well you guys know i recently got my van cleef sweet alhambra um i do really like that bracelet and i love how dainty it is so especially if you're more into like dainty minimal looking jewelry i think you cannot go wrong another place that i've recently been looking especially if you're not looking to spend thousands of dollars on a piece of jewelry um i do really really like everything that i've gotten from etsy i've gotten a few rings from etsy especially if you've seen like other videos and stuff like that um, but even like these rings that I've gotten from Etsy, I think that I got three for 14 karat gold, which is like not like the best quality of gold, but of course it was only $60 for three rings. So I feel like we really can't complain here. I feel like with Etsy, it's a really good price point because you're not paying the markup of the brand, right? So you're just paying for the jewelry. Um, I, I really like the jewelry that I got. Um, I don't have any issues with it. And then of course, you're also being able to support small businesses, which we love. Moving on to fragrances, if they have a typical scent that they usually go for, then obviously buy that. But if they don't, if you're looking for a more feminine scent, here are some of my favorites. I love the Chanel Chance, Chanel Chance. I think Chanel Chance. I'm not sure. Um, so I love this one. It's very like fresh. It's very floral. Um, I also really like the Louis Vuitton Rose de Vents. Um, that one is a little bit pricier in my opinion, and I don't know that it warrants $265. However, um, I do really like the smell and I haven't been able to find something that smells similar in my experience. If you do find something similar, please let me know in the comments because I really, really like that scent. Next, of course, if you're looking to smell like a bougie bitch, the Baccarat Rouge 500 I mean you cannot go wrong I do feel like there are other brands that do very similar like dupes to that one um and so if you are looking for like a cheaper alternative there's definitely some out there from Dossier from Alt Fragrances things like that but um I feel like you can't go wrong with the original and it's just such a it's such a bougie scent um and it's just so distinct and it definitely makes everyone's heads turn when um you walk into a room next if you're looking for more masculine scents um again some of my favorites and i think i gave my boyfriend pretty much all of these so the louis vuitton afternoon swim again i don't know if it warrants a high price tag however i do really like the scent um and it just smells very fresh um and I really like it. Next is Dior Sauvage. I feel like it's such a classic. Some people may say it's like basic, but also like the thing with fragrances is that you're not gonna walk into a room and someone's gonna be like, that's Dior Sauvage, how basic. Like they're not gonna know, they're just gonna know it smells really freaking good. And that's Dior Sauvage right there. Like I think it smells really good. Um, And I think for the price point, it's also not bad at all. Last but not least, the Blue de Chanel from Chanel. I also really love that scent. Um, I got my boyfriend one recently. You also do, like don't need to use a lot either. Like I think one or two spritz definitely goes a long way. So it will definitely last you for a really long time. And something that I really like about fragrances and not specifically like masculine scents, but just fragrances in general, I feel like you can buy them from the designer brand website themselves and then it will come with these really nice packaging so you get to save time on the packaging and the wrapping and however you plan on like wrapping the gift um it will come really nicely packaged compared to buying it from like sephora for example you're just going to get the fragrance itself and the, the paper bag that sephora sends it in however if you buy it from chanel there's chanel has really nice packaging if you buy it from dior it comes in like the whole box and the whole spiel you know so you get the whole like experience if you will um which i think is definitely worth the money Next, moving on to like the tech gifts. Um, I think that you really can't go wrong with these, especially for guys. I feel like guys are kind of hard to shop for sometimes, um, but look to see kind of like what they're missing and then go with that. So for example, um, my boyfriend needed a new iPhone last Christmas. So I ended up getting him a new iPhone. Um, 
if they kind of have an older phone or the phone is like not really working anymore, I think that's also another um, great gift. Same thing with laptops as well, right? If their laptop is kind of old, um, and they use it a lot, you know, I think that getting a new laptop is also a great option. If they're into gaming, any kind of like PC gaming, like piece parts, um, I think that's also a great thing, um, especially, or like if, even improving their setup by any ways, like if they need a bigger desk, if they want like the lights inside of like their computer, <laughs> I don't know exactly what they're called, um, but like any kind of thing that you can improve their gaming setup, I think that would be, that would go a really long way as well, especially if you're into gaming. And then kind of in the same veins, if they don't have a Switch or like the Switch Lite, I think that's also a great, really, a really good gift as well. And then any kind of like games as well. So like, for example, I got my boyfriend Switch like years ago at this point, and like an easy gift is the games because we already have the gaming console, so we just get the games. So um, that's also pretty like, low effort and like easy gift um, and something that they're going to use all the time as well. Last but not least, let's talk about the experiences. I feel like some people aren't very big on like material gifts, which like to each their own, everybody has different tastes and like what they want, what they don't want, what they value, things like that. Um, and I feel like experiences like with Valentine's Day, that's the day that you're spending with your significant other or your loved one. And so you want to be able to make the most out of that day to like celebrate and like enjoy each other's company. And so um, there's quite a few experiences that I feel like you can do pretty much everywhere that are also like relatively COVID safe given the times that we're in. So starting off with a couple spa day, I feel like you really cannot go wrong with this. It's always so nice to be pampered every once in a while. And um, a spa day is definitely the way to go. Another option is doing like a staycation somewhere. You can either do it like up in the city or like in a beach town. So for example, me being in the Bay Area, we could do a staycation up in the city in San Francisco. Um, we can do a staycation in like Santa Cruz or Monterey or like things like that that's like a little bit far away from where you normally would stay but then you get to spend the rest of the weekend there um you get to kind of explore the town things like that that's always really fun you can also gift tickets to some sort of event whether you guys like to go to sporting events together basketball game baseball's coming up or you like to go to raves or concerts and things like that I feel like that's always a great time um and you get to spend with that person and then you also get something to look forward to because obviously you're not going to be buying the tickets for like that event like that following weekend if that makes sense so it gets to be something that you're looking forward to i remember one year i gifted my boyfriend um these yankees baseball tickets so he's like a big yankees fan and um yankees were coming to san francisco um i forgot when this was but um basically i think the tickets were for like april and then i gave them to him in february so then it was something that we got to look forward to in february all the way till april if that makes sense Next, especially if you're in California, take advantage of the wine, take advantage of being able to go wine tasting. I feel like that's always like you don't have to be very like well versed in like wine and like things like that. But I feel like that's always such a fun, like bougie experience as well. Something that you don't get to experience every day. Another thing that I think is like pretty unique that people don't really talk about too often, um, but only do this if they are not afraid of heights or you're not afraid of heights, um, do a helicopter ride. I feel like that would be so fun. You get a different view of the city. Um, it is on the more expensive side, right? It's about like $300 per person, but you get a different view of the city. Um, um, even if you've been living in, for example, like New York your entire life, um, you get to see it from a different angle, right? So I feel like that's such a good experience. It's something you guys get to do together. Um, just make sure you're um, not afraid of heights. <laughs> And then the last thing I have in the experience is any kind of like fancy picnic. I've been seeing a lot of these pop up on TikTok specifically, and I think these are such a great idea. You get some, um, you get these small businesses um, that are able to come, you pick a location and a time, and they're able to set everything up for you. They have little tents. Um, I think just the in entire setup in general, I think it is so cute um, as this is gonna make for great um, picture opportunities, things like that. And in general, I think that it's such a cute idea. There's gonna be different people that do like based on location. I know that there is a few in the Bay Area and um, this one always has like the most aesthetic looking TikToks and Instagrams. And um, I think it is just so cute. And you guys get to be outside, obviously like <laughs> weather permitting, hopefully. Um, but given if you're in California, it's not a big deal. And um, 
you get to be social distance from everyone so you're you're making sure that you're still being safe and then you get to spend that intimate time together you get to be outside um i think that these are really really cute and a really fun idea okay so that sums it up for this video i hope this was helpful for you we try to go rapid fire with all of the gift ideas i know that valentine's day is coming up very very soon so if you are planning to get anything online make sure you get it sooner rather than later because there are a lot of shipping delays and things like that so you never know um but i hope this was helpful for you if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up i'll leave another video for you guys here and i'll see you guys next time bye